There's one. All right. Oh, it feels like a good one, whatever it is, dude. Oh yeah. This is this is a good one. Hey, camera. 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 Oh man, it's rip and drag, dude. It's a big one, whatever it is, it's big. Alright, so I've done this once or twice before, but uh, we're gonna try to change tire. Oh, I can say that. <laughs> Oh, you too, Chad. Spare tire. Oh. All right. And get this thing picked up. Now you can see the truck moving up. What time is it? All right, now we got enough for where the tire can be taken off, wheeled off. Look at the damage on this thing. It's so crazy. Look at that thing. Call these gators right here, because it'll get you. All right. So, good tire. Well, this guy like the Lesh Wall guys do. It's not the lightest thing in the world. You're gonna start putting your lug nuts on, tighten this guy up, we're gonna tighten it as much as we can by hand. My friend Michael Nava taught me everything that I'm doing here. <laughs> so shout out to you, Mitch. If it wasn't for you and watching you change tires out for all the years, I probably would have no clue what I'm doing. Start again, we'll start with this first one. Tighten it up. Keeping that star pattern. And that's how you change the tire with fish in the 509. Stay tuned, because we still got fish to bring to you guys. Thanks for watching. After all that happened this morning, nearly dying on the highway, we finally made it just as gorgeous as it was when we fished it two years ago. My first YouTube video on my channel was fishing deer, so we're gonna probably go to the same spot we started. We only have like three hours to fish after all the nonsense that happened this morning. So we're gonna get after them. Kind of, it's kind of thick. It's oh yeah, it's good, dude. It's bigger than that. So whatever that is, it's bigger than that. Peace, <laughs> man. I got my new rock piece. I love it. My 509 sticker right there. It's yeah. So gorgeous. I'm just finding out about all this new gear he's had since I haven't been out. <laughs> all right, we got. We're gonna just drop this dude down with some waxes, which is usually. We're gonna get a close up right here so you can see exactly what I use when I ice fish. We're gonna get a juicy one right here. I don't do anything too fancy with it. Just hook it, kind of make sure it's on there pretty good. That way if those perch just nip at it, they don't steal it. So that's the presentation, more or less. You don't need to get too fancy with it, but that guy right there is money. big as they get, they get a little bit bigger than this. Sorry my hands are probably disgusting, but... Uh, it's the month of love, you gotta kiss the first fish. This guy go, peace, out. All right, so just wanna show you what we're seeing here. That's Judy's bait, so she's not all the way down yet. This means bottom, We've got a lot of activity down here, so keep going. Stop. Maybe there's a fish hitting it. All right, oh, something just shot up for it. All right, so we're looking, she's about to get a hit right now. You're gonna see it, there's the fish looking at it. Give it a little bit of action, chase it. There you go, make her keep reeling, keep reeling. He's chasing, he's chasing, he's stopping. There you go. I got him. Got him <laughs> on. All right, we'll get the vex out of the way. Woo! Yeah, there he is, dude. Just like that, we just straight up <laughs> dropped in. There's a few more of those guys. All right, chuck him in. I'm gonna start using the deeper. All right, so we're going with deeper, which is super freaking cool, man. The deeper is definitely um, a game changer if you don't buy a Vex or have a Vexilar. Here's this guy right here, um, hooks up with Wi-Fi. So if you look here, I'm already hooked up with the deeper um, pro. So, and all it is, is it's got these little sensors on the bottom. 
I think that's what they're for, but when it detects that it's in the water, you just chuck it in there and you launch the app. Alrighty, so there we go. Deeper's launched. And uh, I don't know, man, something tells me that's a fish or some vegetation, so. Not sure what that could be. Looks like vegetation. There I am, popping my bait along the bottom in that real uh, rhythmic pattern. Just hop, 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 and uh, trying to draw something up and nothing at the moment. We do see that green down on the bottom, but that could just be vegetation or something that's clearly not a fish. Maybe a fish, but won't really know. So again, nothing down there. Oh, 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 something looks like it's coming up for it. Something's coming up for it. There's one. All right. Oh, it feels like a good one, whatever it is, dude. Oh, yeah. This is this is a good one. Babe, camera, camera, camera. Oh, man, it's rip and drag, dude. It's a big one, whatever it is, it's big. No, did it come off? No, it's still there. It's big, whatever it is. Dude, it was just rip and drag right now. I don't know, but it's a big fish. It's a big fish. I don't know what it is. I can't see it yet. It's a big fish though. What is it, man? Right here. Dude, it's, it's big. Oh, it's a freaking carp. It's a carp. It's a carp. <laughs> Holy crap! I have never in my life, dude. Check this guy out. Holy cow, probably the biggest fish I've ever caught through the ice. Look at this! Dude, right along the bottom, he just smoked it. Look at that. Holy cow, man. That guy was just ripping drag. I don't know why the heck he hit my jigging wrap, but he did. Dude, I have never caught a carp through the ice, and I was just thinking of how fun it would be. Man, the fight on this guy was amazing. Check him out. Look at that thing. Whoa. This is probably the closest I've really come up to a carp, too, because I hate touching carp. He's just a big sucker fish. <laughs> Gross. Look at that. Oh, dude, that fight was exhilarating, to say the least. Holy cow. Look at that guy. All right, we're going to let him go. Let's get a release on him. What? Dude, okay. look at this. I just landed this huge carp through the ice. <laughs> look how big this thing is. Look at that. Look at baby. Look at baby. Look at that fish. <laughs> All right, we're going to let this guy go so we don't keep him out of the water too long. Um, look at that guy one last time. Just look at that fish. It is gross. I hate touching these guys. All right, come down here. Let's get the release on them. I'll just steal it from the video. Oh, oh. All right, let's get this guy. See you later, buddy. Woo! That was freaking cool, dude. I've never caught a carp through the ice. That was probably the biggest fish I ever caught through the ice, too. Oh, man. Bye. See you guys. Bye, Bye baby. Bye, Love you. Judy's claiming that there's a bunch of fish here, so... We're gonna check and see what she sees. I'm the second one huh. right there. I'm going down. Yep, that's a fish. There you go. Nice! Another one. What is it? Nice! That's a solid fish, man. That is. Dang. Nice. Catching out here. Let's get a release on them. There's some big marks down there. All right, all right. I think he's coming in. He's coming in. There he is. I mean, it feels like a good one. Whoa. That is a nice perch right there, dude. Look at that on the Z Viber. I mean, I honestly wasn't a believer, and I've been seeing a bunch of people post about it, but I mean, to me, that's a solid fish right there, dude. Like, that's a nice perch. I mean, look at that guy. Tighten your drag? Oh yeah. Wow. Yep. <laughs> and this is what we got for right now. Some ribeye steak.
Okay, so I'm gonna start off by germexing the heck out of my hands. So, check, washing my hands. I just soaked them in about a gallon of germex. So, any fish, any worms, hopefully they are gone. I'm gonna use the most, the best paper towels in the world. We got some olive oil, a pan, some plates. Uh, we got some garlic and butter. Propane tank, little fire starter. So here's the stove we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna let my pan on the top, let it get piping hot. Put in just a little bit of olive oil. I think it's like a tablespoon or two. Um, forgot about the most important ingredient, salt. We're gonna salt up both sides of these guys. Once we got salt on here, we're gonna put some black pepper. We're gonna take the steak. Spread the oil. Always lay the steak away. Never close to you. There you go. Yeah, look at that, dude. So we got the steak there about one minute on that side. Let's flip it. Just a little bit of butter. Just to enhance that flavor. Throw in some of that garlic. Bomb, baby. Just putting the killing on them, dude. Whoa. Another big one. Bigger one. What are you catching this fish on? Using the little Swedish pimple here Sweet. and then enticing them with a uh, wax worm. Gold oh. Swedish pimple. This is kind I'd of a bigger ticket, hook, honestly. so this has been catching the bigger ones too. We're going to take the steak off, we're going to let it rest. Show my favorite things in one picture. <laughs> steak? You yep. fishing. No. <laughs> Whoa, this looks fat. Here you go. I need to wash my hands. Also, the icing on the cake, Starbucks. It's probably still piping hot from when we just bought it. One just, one just eyeballed me. It's coming up for it. What is it about this spot right here? That is crazy. That is absolutely nuts. That fish just hammered this thing. Look at that. Come on. Look at that. Let's get him. Let's let him go. Oh, he's got like the nose. It looks like All a right. walleye almost. Alright, let's let him go. Get a nice release on him. There's one. There's more fish down there, so we're gonna let this guy go. All right, here he is, gonna hit it. Three, two, one. I'm joking. Oh, he's on. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Dude, it's a nice one too, it feels big. Bigger. It's a nice one. That's a jumbo perch right here. <laughs> oh, dude, check this out. That's like my PD perch by far. Look at that, look at that thing. I've never caught one this big. There's still a lot of fish down there, so we're gonna let this big jumbo go. Let's let her go. Let's go make some babies. What is it about this hole right here that's just producing numbers? Let's get back down there. Okay, so what were you talking about? A giveaway. Okay, a giveaway, giveaway because it's it's February. Valentine's. And it's almost Valentine's Day. It's in a couple of weeks. Today's February 2nd. So by the time you see this video, it may be the week before Valentine's Day. And we are wearing a red and pink themed Fish in the 509 shirts. And so what we really wanted to do was give away a $25 Olive Garden card, Olive Garden card, gift card, gift card <laughs> with a red and pink shirt for your significant other. Um, it could be your boyfriend, it could be your wife, it could be your grandma. I mean, wait, grandma? Yeah? You can be your grandma. <laughs> Judy just caught a fish. It's almost closing time. A little chunky one, a little <laughs> chunky tank fish. Well, anyway, while she's taking that fish off, once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, anything else to say? Happy Valentine's Day if you're watching this video by then. Um, thanks for tuning in. Peace out.